Welcome to Rose Medical Center. I'm Heather Harris, the Director of Cardiovascular Services here at Rose. We wanted to help you understand what to expect before, during, and after your stay for your procedure in our cardiac cath lab. On the day of your procedure, you'll come in the front door of the hospital at 4567 East 9th Avenue. Please feel free to take advantage of our complimentary valet service. Go to the admissions desk just inside the front door. An admissions representative will greet you and alert the cath lab that you have arrived. One of our cath lab nurses will then come get you and take you back to our cardiac procedural care unit, which you may hear called CPCU. Let's get you acquainted with Rose Cardiac Cath Lab. Welcome to Rose's Cardiac Procedural Care Unit, or the CPCU. I'm Lauren Meehan, the nurse manager of the Rose Cardiac Cath Lab. Let's show you around the unit. The CPCU is the first location you will come to when you're brought back to the cath lab. You will be in a room like this before and after your procedure. You will be under constant monitoring by our cath lab nursing staff, and you will see your physician before and after your procedure. Now let's hear from one of our cardiologists about what to expect before your procedure begins. I'm Dr. Bridget Beck, a non-interventional cardiologist with Denver Heart at Rose Medical Center. This video will walk you through how to prepare for a cardioversion procedure. Throughout this video, you'll hear from me and my partners explaining what to expect before, during, and after your procedure. Cardioversion is a medical procedure done to restore normal heart rhythm to patients that suffer from abnormal heartbeats, known as arrhythmias. Cardioversion is most commonly performed on patients who have atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter. Before the cardioversion is performed, we'll perform a transesophageal echo, often called a TEE for short. A TEE is a procedure used to assess your heart's function and structure, but most importantly, make sure there's not a blood clot in your heart. Stroke is a potential complication of a cardioversion, but doing the TEE helps make sure there's not a clot in your heart, which greatly reduces stroke risk. If we do find a clot, we won't do the cardioversion. We use ultrasound technology, which are sound waves to see your heart. Once the anesthesiologist has you sedated, we put the ultrasound down your esophagus, then start taking pictures of your heart. Cardioversion is performed by sending electric shocks to your heart through electrodes placed on your chest and back. This electricity will help you get back to normal heart rhythm. By having a cardioversion, your heart will be able to pump more effectively and the symptoms you may have been experiencing should be alleviated. These symptoms may include palpitations or fluttering, shortness of breath, chest discomfort, dizziness, or extreme fatigue. Now you'll hear about how to prepare for your procedure in our cath lab. Let's talk about preparing for your cardiac cath lab procedure. Do not drink anything after midnight the night before the procedure. Discuss your medications with your doctor as you may need to stop taking or adjust your dosage several days prior to your procedure. In particular, you will be asked about any blood thinners you are taking, diuretics or water pills, and any form of diabetic medication. On the day of your procedure, wear comfortable clothing and bring a small bag with your personal items and toiletries in the event you spend the night in the hospital. This will help make your stay more comfortable. Finally, I encourage my patients who smoke to stop smoking as soon as possible. Nicotine robs the heart of oxygen and causes constriction of the blood vessels, which can compromise your recovery. Talk to either your doctor or call the Colorado Quit Line for help. Now you'll hear about what to expect once you arrive at Rose the day of your procedure. Here's what to expect on the day of your procedure. When you arrive at the Rose Cath Lab, you'll be asked to change into a gown. We will start an IV so you can receive medications during your procedure. Your nurse will review your medical history one more time to ensure nothing has changed in your health prior to the procedure. Your nurse will ask you about medications you are currently taking as well. At this time, blood work will be drawn if needed. Finally, we'll perform an EKG or electrocardiogram. An EKG is a test that records the electrical activity of your heart. It helps us see the health of the heart just prior to the procedure. EKGs are quick, safe, and painless. Now, let's talk about what will occur during your cath lab procedure. 
While well, you are preparing for and undergoing your procedure, if a loved one has joined you, he or she can rest comfortably in our dedicated cath lab waiting room just outside the unit. Our coffee shop is just down the hall. The Rose Cafeteria is down one floor to ground level via the central elevators. You may notice the temperature in our cath lab is fairly cool. This is to prevent damage to the x-ray equipment that is used during your procedure. We will offer you warm blankets for your comfort. Our staff will help you onto a special table. Then we will begin attaching monitoring equipment to you. Know that your privacy is our primary concern. Now let's talk about what will happen after your cath lab procedure. Time to go home. Let's talk about what you need to know once you leave the hospital. I'm Suzanne Ehler, a nurse practitioner at Rose Medical Center. Once your procedure is complete, your vital signs will be closely monitored. Once you have fully recovered from the sedation, our staff will go over all your discharge instructions and assist you and your driver to your car. If you've had a TEE, it is common to have a sore throat and or a hoarse voice for one to two days following your procedure. If you have had a cardioversion, you might experience some skin irritation at your chest and back where the patches were applied. Your doctor can recommend which type of cream can be used to make your skin feel better. In the first 24 hours following discharge from the hospital, do not drink alcohol, take sleeping aids, make any important legal decisions, or sign any legal documents drive or operate heavy machinery, you are still recovering. Ask your doctor when it is safe to return to work and drive. That time frame may vary based on the procedure you've had and how you are recovering. Finally, take all the medications as prescribed to you. This is critical for your recovery. If you experience any of the following, immediately call 911 or go to the emergency room. Coughing up blood, chest pain or shortness of breath, dizziness, extreme fatigue, confusion, or fainting spells. As you heard from our doctors and staff, contact the Denver Heart Office if you have any concerns about your health, and be sure to follow all discharge instructions, including your follow-up visit. It has been our honor to take care of you. Thank you for trusting your heart to Rose.